Breaking the rules right out the gate here. I have a group question for all of you, kind of a fun, silly one. Let's say you, as in real you, you caught the smile curse. You need Ooh. someone to confide in. Who is someone in your real life that you would pick to tell that would actually believe you? Oh my God. I have a great answer. That is easy. This. Easy go. I mean, Scoot. He's like, he like, like my, like my boyfriend. He's just like, he's, he's dark. He believes anything. You know what I mean? I'd be mm -hmm. like, so listen, he'd be like, oh my God, no way. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Mine would Let's be go kill my him. brother, maybe too. Your yeah. brother too? Everyone I have in my life. Is that <laughs> that I only, up I only have one person that I feel like I can actually confide in in that moment. That's my five-year-old daughter. She will believe anything <laughs> I say. And no matter how crazy it sounds, but like there's there's a reality to it because she doesn't understand the way a lot of things work. So if I explain something to her that I'm experiencing, she's instantly gonna believe yeah. it. And she's very helpful. I feel like in that moment, I can't really present that to anyone else and have Don't them be tell like, your five-year-old daughter about it. I'd have to. <laughs> like, look, I'm seeing this thing. Daddy's losing his mind. And like, I need you to be the one to tell everyone what's happening. She'll be like, I got it. Yeah, of course. Of course you're losing your mind, Dad. I've seen the smile, too. Yeah. Kids have that. You know what I mean? Exactly. They have none. They have no judgment. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably tell my wife. She, I think my wife would believe me. I could definitely that was also a less call exciting. Kyle. I'd believe you. I'd be like, yeah. I know you fucking would. Let's Don't call me. Yeah. So I'm be like, hell no. I'd be and I'd be like, come like, over. So see, I have a life. Like, no, please. I got a couple people. I think I could tell my wife. I got probably my buddy Jake and Chris. I could tell too, and they'd be like, let's do something about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I feel I, like I, I want to test Jesse's theory minutes. out on my three-year-old niece later, but now I feel awful if I do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got enough maniacs in my life to help me Here's out. I think. <laughs> Important people to have. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, see, so you've accomplished quite a bit already, but this is the debut lead performance in a feature here. So, <laughs> out of yeah, all of the past time. projects that you've done, is there any number one on the call sheet on one of those where oh. they did something that you found influencing your work on Smile, whether it's through the performance or just as being a leader on set? Mm. Oh, that's such a good question. Mm -hmm. um, like, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about, like, how to... I don't, I didn't do everything as well as um, some of the people that like I've worked with, you know what I mean? And that's okay. Like, I think that they probably had to learn that themselves too. Like I was trying to emulate, you know, those amazing number ones that I've worked with that really like, no matter what was going on, like had, had your back and all that stuff. And um, I think that I learned a lot. I learned, and it's, it's a, it's a good, like, um, you know, it was definitely trial by fire. This is a very intense one to also take on, like, the leadership position that you need to, like, hold. Um, so, you know, I'll do things differently next time and also, you know, take a lot of stuff with me that did work. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to build on that and kind of throw it both of your ways, uh, Kyle and Jesse. So given the fact that I think so, he's bound to be a number one on the call sheet in many future productions. But it is something that she did on set as a leader and a scene partner for the two of you that you're excited for more actors out there to get to experience in the future. Oh, wow. What a question. I know. I mean, Come I, on, think, what? I, I, no, think, I think one of the most important things her you can do is yeah i mean you, you really set the tone right so mm -hmm. if you're coming to set late if you're coming to set unprepared if you're coming to set not knowing your lines or whatever like it kind of sets a tone on set that if somebody doesn't care why do i care mm -hmm. and you know every single day so she showed up she delivered she knew her lines she was ready to go not only did she know her lines she brought it every take every day and that really you know that that as an actor makes you want to step up to the plate and and rise to the occasion of your you know of, of what your co-star is putting down so it's 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 a really it's a really good thing and 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 it's it's a hard place to be i mean you're captain of a ship that's you know six seven hundred people sometimes and it is it's a lot and a film like this that is so so intense it's like running a marathon to be able to hold that together and keep everything moving as well as Sosi did is really, it's especially for your first film. I mean, it was incredibly Thank impressive. You. Yeah. Thank you.
I don't know. <laughs> and to add, I mean, her her level of commitment, scene by scene, take by take, was so impressive. You know, it's so impressive to watch because eventually you start to see fatigue set in, or you know, you start to see a lot of things that like we as actors cannot control. Um, but to be able to still stay committed to the role and committed to the scene, committed to the story, to this character, and to, to be real time and time again is very impressive. It's also extremely hard to do. So, like, <laughs> Thank bravo. Thanks, guys. Well-deserved compliments right there. <laughs> Sp speaking of how incredibly challenging this role is emotionally and also physically, mm -hmm. so see how how do you actually nail the performance, but also make sure that you're taking care of yourself in the process. Yeah, I think that the second one was a bit um, <laughs> forgotten. Um, but like, <laughs> I also do think that like sometimes in times of like great stress, we also need to just like kind of survive and and like I I don't know I feel like there's a lot of like societal pressure put on like self-care and self-care and we have to like make sure that we're also getting like a massage and a facial it's like that's not realistic and like nobody's able to do that in the real world so like I don't really know why like it would be a, you know what I'm saying like I think re like reality tv if I had to watch it all night and like not sleep because I need to distract myself I was like okay it's just kind of like radically accepting that you're trying to survive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think everyone could use a dose of that. <laughs> Did you have anything to detox after the shoot was over? Um, like a way to treat yourself? I, I went back to LA, like literally immediately. I was like, get me on the next flight. I need to get out of New York. Um, It was just nice to, to like be just, I, I like, I feel like be better here. I don't remember, God, what did I do? I don't remember. Probably like a lot of things. <laughs> Well, whatever you put yourself through, it's well worth it because it reads quite well Thank on screen you. and it's very okay. effective. And seriously, this movie doesn't work without an A-plus performance from you and you definitely nail it. Oh, They're going to kick me out. That means, Jesse, it's time for the obligatory the boys question. <laughs> People are getting Thanks. this all Come day. On. but. I'll go, I'll go this route with it. So the official Twitter account, I believe, shared an image of you sprayed with a good deal of blood. And I love me, my blood and gore effects. So mm -hmm. how does the season four level of carnage that A-Train experiences compare to the previous seasons? Is it more? Oh, um, I can't say that if it's more yeah. or less. What I, what I can say is it's surprising. Nice. It's surprising. I'm fine with that word. It's, it, it's surprising for everyone. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> Honestly, with that show, my head is swirling with a million possibilities that I'm very much enjoying right now. So I appreciate awesome. the tease. Huge congratulations on this one. And now I'm going to go watch Dinner in America on Hulu 10 times over. There we go. Thank always. You very much. Always. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you.